out of a awareness that our children didn't have books with main characters that looked like us. Um, and this need that has evolved as we have more media, more media, and less images about our children, or we're not the ones creating those images. So even children's books that have main characters that are of color, often those are written by white writers. And so thinking about creating images for our children from our community that um, can be for all children, but we have the intention and the mindfulness is it's about ours. Um, and so I'm going to read this book. It's called Mel's Missing Drumsticks. I have Leslie with me who's going to play the drums along with me. And I'm excited to share it with you. Feel free to join in if you want to grab an instrument and play while we play. Uh, if not, you can just chill and listen while we go through it. When you hear the sound, da 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 da, you know Mel's coming around. He loves playing to a crowd, hair flying rock wild. On Saturdays, he rocks out with his dad in his pajamas. Even when Mel's eating, he finds a way to play. He carries his drumsticks wherever he goes, even to faraway places. One morning, Mel wakes with a weird feeling. Though he can't quite figure that out, he knows something is missing. He's got a long list, he's trying to figure it out. Oh no, where are my drumsticks, Mel exclaims. He looks, and he looks, and he looks, but they are nowhere to be found. What will I do now, Mel worries. He pouts and he frowns, he mopes and he cries. Finally, he thinks to himself, all I really need is something that makes a sound. Suddenly, whatever he can find becomes an instrument, something for Mel to play. A pot and a pan, a spoon from the drawer, the tapping of shoes on a hardwood floor, a pet on a cheek, two stomps and a clap. Thank goodness he's been perfecting his snaps. Can we all snap? Hey. Hey. <laughs> but then Mel frowns and worries a bit. Will my clever sound be a good fit? Because what does it matter what he has in his hand if it doesn't quite work with his favorite band? But all he can do is try and see. So he sets up for practice and waits anxiously. Then it's mom to the rescue. Mel's drumsticks arrive just in time. Mel's frown magically melts away when dad steps, steps up and it's time to play. And in pops an idea as dad counts the beat. Wouldn't a change be pretty neat? Before his dad can count to three, Mel decides how to proceed.
that's what makes Mel happiest of all. The end. <laughs> so thank you all for letting me share the story and feel free we can talk and look at the pictures closer in the back. All right, bye.